This is the SyncMate 2 unit. It's a SyncMate 2 because of the fact it's uh, used for the three compartment sink and it has two dispense knobs for two different products. Basically the way this works is we have water that goes to it from the TNS hose here into the unit and with the water pushing through the ductors in the back it pulls the product in a venturi effect into the dispense valves here and one of them is for the detergent and one of them is for the sanitizer. If you were to look at the back of it, it would look like this. You can see where the eductors are and there's also metering tips on each of these. This controls how much product is allowed to enter into the stream with the product and water together. There's also check valves within the unit. Each one should have a check valve. The cap that goes on the bottle, these are things that frequently go bad. They need to be replaced. And inside the bottle is an actual dip tube that goes all the way to the bottom. It looks like this. These things sometimes become unattached, which is not how it is supposed to be. So that could be an issue if you run into a problem with it not drawing product. Could be the tube, could be the cap, could be the check valve. Many of those things need to be replaced. One last thing to look at is the dispense tube. This flow restrictor in here needs to be inside the dispense tube. If it is not within the dispense tube, it will not dispense properly. The way this works is with the water turned on and it diverted to the dispenser, when you turn one of these valves on, it will pull the product out of the bottle and into the sink. It does that by using the Venturi effect. Again, the metering tip is designed to control the amount of product that goes into the sink. When the sink is filled to the appropriate level, the knob is then shut off, and then we move over to the sanitizer, and we do the same exact thing. Again, it's pulling the product through the tube and into the sink, and it shuts off. Some of the things that frequently go bad with these dispensers, sometimes the knob in the back can break. It's the on-off for this. Again, the check valves go bad frequently, the caps can go bad, the dip tube can get pulled out. Those are the majority of your serious service calls. Working with a sink mate or sink master, there are a few common problems that need to be resolved, which can hamper the way that the unit works. One of the most common problem is the metering tip that sits inside the eductor. There are many times when those get plugged and they do not function properly, they need to be replaced. The caps, whether it be a straight or a 90 degree elbow, sometimes get plugged up and those will also need to be replaced, it won't draw product. If the dip tube should come off inside the product jug, uh, this will also cause it not to draw product and this doesn't happen often, but once in a while we do see that. Check valve that goes inside the line has a directional arrow in it and this directional arrow here has to point towards the dispenser as that's the way that the product will be drawn through the tubes. This particular eductor here has a broken area where the metering tip fits in so we're going to replace that here. Uh, if we have a sleeve inside the eductor that goes bad and it doesn't draw product this is yet another reason that this particular component would need to be replaced. Simply unscrew it after you remove the hose Put the new one in place, screw it back in, there's a hose washer in there so it should prevent it from leaking and once you get it to the right spot use a 3 16 inch nut driver and you can put your metering tip in there and you should be able to screw that right in place. Now keep in mind that the hydro eductors all have push and pull out metering tips and you will not require the use of your 3 16 inch nut driver. Reattach the hose. And the process is complete. We also have a sink master too, which is from hydro. Very, very similar to the sink mate. It also has the eductors in the back and it also has the metering tips that go into the ports here to create the draw for the product to make sure that it's metered correctly. Due to regulatory codes, 
it's imperative that when you do a repair on any dispenser, whether it be a SyncMate, SyncMaster, or an MXH8, that you do a test to ensure that the amount of sanitizer that you're using is at the proper level to ensure that the customer is not cited by the health department. This test is not an optional test. It does need to be performed each time. We're going to discuss now how to do that. There are two different types of sanitizers that are used both in the three compartment sinks and in the spray bottle dispensed areas. They are the quat based sanitizer and also the chlorine based sanitizer. It takes two different types of tape to measure the parts per million for each of those two products. The quat based one looks like this and the chlorine based one looks like this. Always read the bottle to determine which type of sanitizer you have so that you do the correct test. Once you are ready to test, you're going to want to fill a small container with some of the product and if it happens to be the quat, which I'm going to test right now, always make sure that uh, it's at room temperature. If you have it too hot or too cold, it skews your results and what you're looking at will not be accurate. Usually about 65 to 75 is the range we want it in. We want to make sure that inside the bucket we don't have any foam that's going to skew the result and not put the tape all the way into the, into the product. As you do that, submerge the tape, about a two inch piece, for about 10 seconds. Once the 10 seconds is up, pull the tape out and compare it to the chart on your dispenser. This one here is about 350 parts per million. That is consistent with what it needs to be to test properly for quaternary sanitizer. Chlorine, which is this test strip here for chlorine based sanitizer, needs to be at 100 to 200 parts per million when you measure that in the three compartment sink. So you'll do the same test, only you'll be using this dispenser rather than this dispenser.